Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you three budget condos for rent here in Chiang Mai. We're going to be starting in Jedyod before heading off to Neiman and then going to the Central Festival area. But first things first, let's go and grab some breakfast. Well, I brought you to a place to breakfast just off Mahidon Road, having a bit of Mu Wan and an orange juice. And uh, yeah, before we get into this, before I give this massive shout out to Perfect Homes for making this video possible, this is their listings in the video. If you're interested in uh, buying, renting or selling in Chiang Mai, make sure to check those guys out. Now, full disclosure, Perfect Homes are not paying for me to make these videos they're just providing me with the properties to look at and in return I can give them a shout out while looking at them on this video so your best way for you guys to support the channel is by watching to the end or liking the video please like the video or subscribing to the channel or if you really want to support it check out buying me a coffee as well but that is not expected in any way anyway I'm going to finish off my breakfast here and then get on the way to the first condo which is right behind me here come on let's go and have a look guys JC Hill Place is a 15-storey condominium situated in the Jed Yod area of Chiang Mai, just off the canal road down Jed Yod Chan Kian. Jed Yod has a very local feel, with wonderful hole-in-the-wall restaurants within walking distance of the condo, not to mention this great little hidden gem here. I absolutely love this logo. We also have a small selection of bars frequented by expats and locals, as well as the usual supply of amazing coffee shops for any taste. Now, I'd recommend Jed Yod if you're looking for a more local feel in Chiang Mai, while still being only a 15 to 20 minute walk away from Neiman, which is our next location in this video. There are so many accommodation options in Jed Yard, but let's go and see the room we've come to look at at JC Hill Place. And here it is guys, 29 square meters on the 14th floor. Now, if I give you a tour of the room, we have a studio unit with some pretty decent views of Chiang Mai. Now, before we get into the views, let's have a look at the bed here. Pretty decent bedside table, get yourself a wardrobe, yeah, a nice bit of picture artwork on the wall as well. This has been brand newly renovated and for only 6,000 baht, you cannot go wrong. Now, got yourself a table here as well, bit of a fridge, place to do some washing up here. Now, we don't have any cooking facilities, ignore my helmet, but you could buy yourself a little, uh, a little hob here, you know, 1,000 baht, that's all you need, and you've got uh, somewhere to cook as well. Advantage of the rest of the room here. Yeah, we're on the corner as well. This is a corner unit here, so we don't have anybody to our side of us here. So I think that's pretty decent. Anyway, let's have a have a bit of a look in the bathroom. The extra, um, the fan is a bit noisy, as we can hear, but uh, yeah, that's all. Uh, that's not really a problem. All done, brand new throughout, ready to be rented. Now get this light turned off here. Now, if I show you the view, we do have a decent view, but yeah, bear in mind that the next couple of weeks, it's gonna be smoky, it's gonna be back to normal soon. So if you're planning a trip in say a month, things are gonna be back to normal here in Chiang Mai. No need to worry about that at all. But we've got views this way as well. <laughs> Can't go wrong for this room and this price. I don't think at all. This was the first room that we're looking at today, 6,000 baht. The next one is a little bit more expensive and it's in a different area of Chiang Mai over there we can even see it even with the smoke <laughs> the next condo we've come to look at is pretty close to Maya, so i thought i'd take you to look at one of my favorite places to get a smoothie here in chiang mai right here it's called boost and i know exactly what i'm getting uh, uh, mango magic uh, original yeah, Maya is probably chiang mai's newest mall not when i come into very often but i do come here for the uh, the boost every time i'm in neiman now the condo we're looking at as i said is pretty close to here on Huai Kia Road. Now you may know which one it is. It's a pretty famous, pretty popular condo here in Chiang Mai. So let's go and have a look at that. Wow, awesome. Never gets old. Mango magic from Boost. While the next condo we're looking at today isn't technically in Neiman, we're only a two minute walk away. Firstly, we arrive at the One Neiman Plaza, which is just across the road from the condo, and are met by a massive selection of businesses, from barbers to massage shops, and of course, loads of restaurants and bars. Neiman is famous for being Chiang Mai's hip and trendy neighborhood, boasting a huge amount of trendy coffee shops and amazing eateries of both Thai and international cuisine. Although there are lots of expensive places in Neiman, there are also affordable options as well. As many of you guys know, I really, really like Neiman. I think it's a fantastic place to come and live. If you're just new to Chiang Mai, you want to experience things before getting stuck in at the deep end in a more local environment. Get yourself to Neiman, you've got everything that you need here. 
you haven't guessed already, we're looking at a room in the Hillside 4 condo. And although we are in walking distance to Neiman, this condo has a number of restaurants and shops downstairs if you don't fancy going out. Now, let's go and take a look at the room. Well guys, we made it to the second condo that we're looking at today. This is 45 square meters in the Hillside 4, and it's a studio as well. Just starting out on the balcony here. Pretty decent size here, in all honesty, for a balcony. And we've got a view of the pool as well, where we just were. Not bad at all, eh? Love this pool, as I've already said. Now, if we flip around and go inside and have a look at the room, this bit of a squeak there. This room is not renovated like the last room. I think they could do, uh, you might be adding a couple of bits and pieces, a couple of touches to it. But all in, I think it's pretty decent. If we flip the camera, yeah, we've got your bed there and you've got your you know, pretty big TV, workstation, etc. You can go there, everything that you need. It's not a workstation at all, is it? I was, that's uh, the wrong thing. I meant cabinetry for storage. <laughs> Here we have your fridge, place to wash, microwave, and uh, yeah, you could potentially get a, a hob in there if you wanted to do a bit of cooking. That would be completely down to you. And here is yeah, your wardrobe storage area. And that's me. And our bathroom is here. Nice little uh, counter, big mirror. And yeah, we've got ourselves a bathtub here. That thing is going to be patched up, by the way. So yeah, you need to worry about that and storage area there for your uh, amenities and things. So yeah, for me, I love the Hillside 4 building. We did come in here on a single video a few weeks ago that was looking at a bigger room though. And for this to be 10,000 baht per month for a one year contract in this building, so close to everything that we've just seen on the video, I don't think you can potentially go wrong at all. So the first condo was 6,000 per month. This is 10. The next one is slightly more in a completely different area. So let's go and check the area out and go and look at that condo as well. Now, if you're a mall buff, the next condo could be for you. Pretty close to where we are now in Central Festival, I've actually brought you to one of my favorite Japanese curry style places, a chain restaurant called Koko Ichiban here in Chiang Mai. Now, it hasn't actually been here very long in Chiang Mai. It's been in Bangkok for ages, only just got to Chiang Mai. So yeah, I really like it here. I'll show you what the food looks like when it arrives. And yeah, I'll sample it as well. So yeah, you get a pretty sizable portion. Could have done with like half of this, but uh, never mind. Pretty decent though, quite like this place. Potato wedges, these arrived like 10 minutes ago and they called now, but never mind. To dip in the sauce. Yeah, if you're looking for something that's just a bit different to Thai food, not Western food, mole food, for example, yeah, come to a place like this. All in it's probably gonna be just under 400 baht, so not too bad. Now last year I was in Singapore, not necessarily my favorite place, but there's one thing that beats Thailand hands down. People, stick to one side of the escalator so when you want to go you just walk down thailand doesn't happen like that unfortunately uh, yeah you can find yourself st stuck behind people just sort of standing still not not staking to one side but minor issue but sometimes when you're in a hurry it can be upsetting anyway let's go and look at the condo so we were right across the road in central festival over there and the condo superline monty 2 is here great location great for convenience Let's go and have a look. Now, I personally think that this next condo is an absolute bargain here in Chiang Mai. 13,000 baht per month, 43 square meters, and we're on the 31st floor. Now, as I said, please bear with me for the smoke. It'll be gone in a couple of weeks, and then we'll have nine, 10 months of beautiful Chiang Mai. But it is a bit smoky at the moment, don't get me wrong. But we've got the, uh, the bus station is just down there. We've got the big sea over there, lots of furniture shops, and the York Interchange, where you can get like your bakery goods, is just on the other side of the road over there as well. Some of the main Chiang Mai courts, the new base condo, and we head down this road here, probably 10 to 15 to 20 minute walk, we'll get us straight into the city of Chiang Mai. Now, this condo, we've got ourselves a washing machine on the balcony here and let's go inside and have a look starting with the bedroom because this is where the balcony was but as i said i do think this is a great great price here in chiang mai for for what you get uh yeah really really is, is, is wonderful anyway we've got that closed now you've got yourselves your bed here now it's not necessarily my choice of bedding but it's not too bad <laughs> enough room for a tv on the wall there we do have a tv in the other room so that's something to bear in mind nice size decent size if i must say i like this and yeah, we've got that built-in uh, wardrobe and cabinetry, etc. there. And yeah, that's the advantage of the bedroom 
bedroom there, the top floor. Well, there is a floor above, but that's sort of like a walkway area, which will be good in a couple of weeks' time. Here we have our bathroom. Get yourself a shower, sink, you know, everything you need as usual in a place like this. But I think you're going to like what's in the other room. Now, we've got two bits to it, but if we start here, yourself a sofa, a pretty basic sofa in all honesty. Not the best, but it's pretty, pretty okay. The TV on the wall there, built-in stuff there and there. And here we have a bit of cupboardry. But this is what I like, the kitchen area here. Now, we don't actually have a hob, but you can, you can buy like an electric hob and a pan. Let's say your hob's gonna be a thousand baht and your pan's gonna be 800 baht, so you can't go wrong. Got this window open here, smoke go out. Don't need to worry about an extractor fan. But yeah, you've got like a separated kitchen area with a bit of a table here. You get that closed, smell's not gonna go through there. Got your fridge, microwave, things to wash, and yeah. What do you think of this place, guys? Now, this is only 13,000 baht per month, as I said. For me, that is an absolute bargain for this. Obviously, the dollar amount will be overlaid over the screen. And yeah, the facilities will have shown you what we looked like before the videos. So three condos, one video, guys. Now, all in, I think we've seen some pretty decent condos today. For 6,000, 10,000, and now 13,000. Which one do you like best? Which one would you choose? But I think it's time to call this video. Really, really appreciate everyone, uh, everyone watching. Hope you got to the end. And again, shout out to Perfect Homes. All three of these are their listings. So if you want to check them out, please make sure to, uh, to say you know, where you found out the information from. That would mean the world. Anyway, thanks guys. Gonna call it for this one. Hope you like the new format. Let me know. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.